Tensions at the border are in danger of boiling over as South Korea's blared music and latest news to North Korea via powerful loudspeakers for five straight days and counting. In response to North Korean balloons carrying trash to South Korea, the South temporarily switched on border loudspeakers on July 9th for the first time in six years, risking an exchange of fire or worse because the North is particularly sensitive to this tactic as it can expose ordinary North Koreans and troops to whatever South Korea is broadcasting several kilometers into the country. We previously reported that South Korea played music from BTS and others on July 9th, but soon switched off its loudspeakers to prevent the situation from spiraling out of control. Since then, the North has continued its trash balloon campaign, and from last Thursday, the South responded by blaring its loudspeakers. As of Sunday, Seoul's loudspeaker campaign has been expanded to music and news being blared all along the 257 kilometer long de facto inter-Korean border from 6 a.m. for 16 hours daily. And it's not just modern K-pop being played, but also slightly older trot music infused offerings that might be particularly catchy for a North Korean audience. Listen to this example from Jang Yun Jong. The lyrics, will you come, have turned a romantic suggestion into an appeal for North Koreans to escape their life of slavery by defecting to the South. The music's been backed up by reports, including news of the recent defection to South Korea of a senior North Korean diplomat who'd been based in Cuba. They also trumpeted news of North Korean troops killed in mine explosions within the north side of the demilitarized zone and accused leader Kim Jong-un of hypocrisy by enjoying foreign culture but not allowing his people to do the same. South Korea had warned multiple times that it would do this, but to give you a sense of how seriously the decision would have been taken, in 2015 the two Koreas engaged in a brief exchange of artillery fire over the western part of their border over a South Korean loudspeaker campaign that had been a response to a North Korean landmine attack which had maimed two South Korean soldiers. Now, the big question is, how will North Korea respond? The North has launched trash balloons toward the South on nine occasions since late May, including Sunday. But that's been over anti-Pyongyang leaflets sent by North Korean defectors in the South via their own balloons. Last week, the North Korean leader's sister Kim Yo-jong warned of gruesome and dear consequences for those leaflets via state media. You can imagine how much more loudspeaker broadcasts will be provoking Pyongyang. Find out here, though if you're watching this on Korea Now, subscribe to our North Korea Now channel to stay updated on North Korea news, where we already have exclusive content. And from August, North Korea Now will be the home of all our North Korea-focused news.